Tsukioka Yoshitoshi was born in the Shimbasi district of Edo in 1839. His father was a wealthy merchant who bought his way into the samurai class. At the time of Yoshitoshi's birth, Japan was engaged in a civil war between the imperial and samurai forces, many of whom were from the same samurai class. The angst, depravity, and rage depicted in Yoshitoshi's prints are tied to the confusion and turmoil of this period, called the Meiji Restoration Period. The formation of a unified nation spelled disaster for many Japanese. The pressure to abandon tradition and westernize increased as Japan strengthened its military force. Indeed, the government's running slogan at the time read, Enrich the country, strengthen the military. Nationalization meant the extermination of the samurai class, who had 700 years before overthrown a nationalized empire modeled after the Chinese. Guns and ammunition outpaced, outperformed, and depreciated samurai value in the empire. There was no longer a need for samurai services to protect the country and its elite. Finally, in 1813, Emperor Meiji abolished the samurai's right to be the nation's only armed force and vetoed their tax-exempt status. Meiji also outlawed the public display of swords and the samurai right to execute disobedient commoners. The samurai rebelled, naturally, under the leadership of the Satsuma clan and spread bloodshed far across Japan. The rebels were eventually crushed by imperial forces at the Battle of Shirayama. Remaining samurai clans disbanded. Most ex-samurai either committed ritual suicide, called seppuku, or disappeared into obscurity. The samurai tradition was lost to Japan. It would remain only as a romanticized vision of the past, told in books and folk tales, degraded in military propaganda, and sold for profit in cheap, historically inaccurate gore films. Yoshitoshi, raised amidst this fervor, and a member of the samurai class himself, witnessed continual bloodshed as a child. At the age of five, Yoshitoshi began taking lessons in art from his uncle. Yoshitoshi apprenticed Kuniyoshi, a great master of the Japanese woodblock print. After his master's death, Yoshitoshi struggled to produce work. He managed to produce some 63 designs, mainly kabuki prints, used in theater performances. Three months after his master's death, Yoshitoshi's father died, prompting him to begin a series of dramatically violent prints depicting battles and tensions between the samurai and imperial shogunate. The public responded well to his new work, and Yoshitoshi began to gain notoriety among Edo artist circles. His dramatic images compelled the public interest because through them they could feel connected to distant events that would determine their future. For Yoshitoshi, the images helped to portray the distress felt by his class in the wake of modernization. Yoshitoshi continued to work with graphic themes, and in 1866 produced the Emai Nujashuku, or 28 Famous Murders in Verse. The prints depict grotesque scenes of torture, suicide, and murder. They are emblems of humanity in its most extreme deprivation. Interesting here is Yoshitoshi's expert command of anatomy. His contorted figures capture a sense of both reverence and angst toward death. In the face of their actions, their difficult expressions tread the line between apathy and horror.
In 1867, Yoshitoshi began work on his biographies of modern men. These works carry much of the uncensored nature of his earlier prints. Whether fighting demons, cloth mats, or countrymen, the characters here are tied in their overcoming of obstacles. Many of his heroes in these prints were low on the Japanese social ladder. The heroes in biographies of modern men are members of rival gambling rings. In Handsome and Brave Heroes of the Suidoken, Common Outlaws. By 1869, Yoshitoshi was regarded as one of the best woodblock artists in Japan. Yet his fame was fleeting. By 1871, the public had tired of gore, and he stopped receiving commissions. Dogged by failure, Yoshitoshi scraped out a living with his mistress, Okoto. Both became hawkers, and were at one point reduced to burning their floorboards for warmth. In 1872, Yoshitoshi fell into a deep depression. He would begin making new Shinki prints to accompany sensationalized tabloid stories in order to support himself. Eventually, Okoto, in a traditionally Japanese gesture of devotion, sold herself to a brothel to support him. In 1877, Yoshitoshi's Prince of the Samurai Satsuma Rebellion gained him some recognition, though not enough to feed himself and his new mistress, Oraku, who sold all her clothes and possessions to support him. Eventually, she too would sell herself to a brothel. And in 1885, Yoshitoshi was ranked the number one Yukio-e artist by a popular Tokyo art and fashion magazine. By this time, however, the woodblock print had lost its popularity due to the stress in Japanese society to modernize and move beyond traditional non-industrial forms of representation. For the next decade, Yoshitoshi would struggle to maintain the integrity of Yukio-e art. He took on many students and began printing volumes of work, but to no avail. No one wanted a piece of the past that was being forcibly erased from the Japanese memory. In 1891, Yoshitoshi suffered a mental breakdown after inviting his friends to a gathering of artists who did not exist. In the same year, Yoshitoshi's home was robbed and all his money taken. The couple blow sent Yoshitoshi into a mental institution, where he remained until May of 1892. He died three weeks later in a rented room on June 9, 1892, from a brain hemorrhage. There he wrote this poem, holding back the night with its increasing brilliance, the summer moon. Yoshitoshi's courage, vision, and force of character gave Yuki Oi another generation of life and illuminated it with one last burst of glory. Japanese culture has deep roots in Shinto animism. Shintoists believe that all life is connected by kami, a spiritual energy. Zen Buddhism blossomed in Japan under these deeply ingrained cultural precepts. Zen teaching emphasizes the connection between human and nature, and deplores attaching the label sacred or profane to anything in the material world. Zen philosophy spread through the samurai court in the 1300s and aided in the creation of the Samurai Code of Ethics, or Bushido. Most Yukioe painters, including Yoshitoshi himself, grew up in the samurai class. Yoshitoshi's world, like the Zen world, strives to detach itself from, con from conventional paradigms. In this world, a bloody suicide carries the same dignity as a fox treading in fresh snow, a freakish ghost the same beauty as a summer moon. Yoshitoshi's daring brush was unafraid to wash the dark corners and deep reservoirs of the soul. His humanity is a struggling humanity, one flawed, desperate, defiant, and incredibly beautiful. <laughs>